That was big right there. Jimmy Johnson took that away. Carl Edwards was going to get to the outside of him, have a chance to make the pass. Still, still might, might right get here. him right here. Here he comes, digging up off the corner. Turn two, half a lap away from the checkered flag. And what's Jimmy Johnson do here? He goes to that high side. Carl Edwards is going to go to the bottom. There we go. <laughs> oh, Carl, goes right oh, by what him. A move. The car stick. Here comes Jimmy Johnson. He's in the wall. He's in the wall. Can here he comes get it Jimmy. Off the wall? We're back inside now. Oh, wow. Carl Edwards trying to hang on. Here comes Jimmy Johnson down, and Johnson will take the win. How good is that? Okay, they've added a lap, and I'm pretty sure it's because the king won't come off the track. Richard Petty has stayed out on the track again, and I think he was supposed, it was an honorary position, but I think he's taking this seriously now. He wants to stay out there and run with these guys. Rick, you going to tell him to come off? I'm not going to tell him to come uh, off. I didn't think so. It's good to be the king. <laughs> it's right? good to be the king. <laughs> oh, you can't black flag the 43. <laughs> the king is uh, having fun. And, yep, sure enough, they did. They they gave the king the black no. flag. No! Now here comes Carl back on the low side. Oh, oh Carl slips a little. Come on, he's sideways. Oh, oh now he gets we it. Oh. Joe, he's into the bar and the car's upside down. On the side is Clint. Yellow is out, yellow is out, yellow is out. Wallace gets into it. The 14 of Bliss gets into it. Really just kind of a stack-up effect. Like was one of them got on the brakes and it's kind of forced. Yeah, look at Tony Stewart just missing this crash. Man, here's where it really gets gets exciting. Man, we talked about that there's nowhere to go as you come off of these corners, and when something like this happens, you, you really have – you make a commitment, and you've got one opportunity really to miss this wreck. Tony Stewart did a great job. Some others got – When trouble breaks out here, if you're behind it, you're probably going to be in it. Johnny Sauter goes to the bottom of the racetrack, and that turned out to be exactly the wrong place to be. Look at Neuenberger just flipping over the back of one of the cars as it was flying. So there goes Jesse Little spinning. Josh Williams spins to the outside, and then here comes Jaskel in the 13, and just so much momentum gets him up on top of the 78. Are you hearing that, KB? Yeah, it's this is Channel 2 now. Just stay right there. I don't know where we're getting that from. Hey, Tom, how's the car doing? Get off the damn radio, whoever you are. Tyler, is that your cousin? Hey, my... Whatever that is, you need to get rid of it. Hey, brother, shut the f*** up. If you could go to 2, go to 2. That's obviously fan calling out your name. That was like Nanu Nanu. That was strange. All right. Now that we're back in business here, what I missed the last five laps. Uh oh, He's look out. Look out, boys. Got to fight for the lead here. Here comes Gordon on the bottom. The 24 car. They're side by side. Eight to go. Drag race. 24. He's out there. Look at the run that 39 car got. I mean, he ran on up on some hard. He had to jump out of the gas three wide in two. Oh, boy. Here we go. This is going to be tight right here. But they make it, and Stewart closes right oh, up. Oh, and, and a nice little bump draft down the back at Charlotte Mo or Lowe's Motor Speedway. You Way to go. see that in Semper the All-Star Rice. Newman no, no. all the way up against the wall. Right. There's still three. Middle He's three. got him. He's got him. Oh, oh there, there we go. go. Keep your foot in it. Keep your foot in it. Still Keep your going. foot in it. Ah! Pow. How'd they go to all Missy? Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> A near-perfect race for Denny Hamlin. Entering the playoffs, he was second in the regular season. But one of only three drivers that were winless, and now he's slow on the track. The five right up behind him. Smoke coming out for Larson. Larson up against the wall. It's a drag race to the checkered flag. Denny Hamlin's going to win it. Johnny Sauter just in front of that 33 of Ron Hornaday. And now some more slower lap traffic will come into play. What a corner by Hornaday. You saw Sauter go high. Hornaday pulls right to the rear bumper, moves to the inside. Here comes Hornaday trying to make the pass as they go into turn three. He's going to have to slow down now. Oh, oh he's out of it. Both of them sideways. Sauter keeps it going straight. They Hornaday both save it. save it. They stay one and two. <laughs> I can't believe NASCAR didn't throw the caution because I thought they'd wreck, but NASCAR was smart. Kept the caution flag in the in the flag stand, and we're still racing green. Those guys are at it. Unbelievable. They have got to get back up to speed. Oh, they're up, they're getting up to speed. But they are nose to tail still and now headed down the back stretch. One and two. Sauter in front of Hornaday. Team. Look at this. Four wide. Oh, oh, this Trump. is gonna be 
defense. Yeah, that was, that was a. Steven that, Wallace into the wall. The one car, on, Gillen. Yeah, that was, that was David Gillen move, made of man through here. You see, he gets a big run on these three cars. And I think Steven was doing a great job being a little patient there. He could have pushed the issue even before. But right here, the track narrows up. Gillen goes through the grass and that shoots him over into Steven Wallace. Just a boy, huge mistake right there. Boy, John West Townley did a nice job of a, not making it a four car deal. Well, he's been doing this for a while. He understands it too. There he goes. Oh, no. Hang on to it, He's got it. He's got it. Now come down pit road. Come on. He's bring it. He's bring it. Okay. Come he's get some four tires. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely needs these four tires now. Like I said, he's good at what he does. Come get some. Haley, not a great restart here as Ryan C gets off to a good start. And now they're four wide going into one. That's it. Oh, and round goes to oh. seven. Hard into the outside on, wall. Buddy, hang on. The hang seven. On, hang on, hang on. On the apron, the 21 of Anthony Alfredo was into the wall hard. He's upside down, sliding through one and two. Down when he did hit the wall. Take another look. Here's the 18 of Riley. Herbst, he gets into him. Both of those young drivers are having good nights tonight. And when you see a car gets upside down, Jeff, it, you know, it takes me back to the technology we don't talk about so much. You know, from a five point to a six point to a seven point seat belt harness, more, all of those points that are added are down around your hips and legs for this reason, to keep a driver pulled straight down in the seat so they don't go up when a car gets upside down. That's a big impact. I mean, you know, it's obviously it's dramatic when he rolls over, but the, as you said, Steve, the impact is what rolled him over. Ooh, trouble, turn one. Danica Patrick, Landon Castle tangled up. Castle going for a slide. Yeah, we did not and hit out. anything, did Patrick not hit anything. Wall. Or maybe there's more to it. This is off turn four. I guess clear there. She gets in on the bumper and but just mm. doesn't get off of him. Right, right there where you're talking and you yeah. just turn it left and lock it down. And she had a chance to not go up hit that wall if she just stayed on the brakes and kept it down there. Hmm. It's like she's trying to save it and just kept driving it until it uh, hooked to the right. Yeah, at that point right there is whenever you should just, as a driver, realize that this is a spin, lock it down, and you can come get four tires. And that's uh, the kind of things that you'll have to learn with these cars. Well, rule number one of stock car racing is learn how to wreck someone without wrecking yourself. <laughs> yeah. If, you, yeah, if you're going to give half paybacks or send a message, then you need to not wreck yourself. Up through there right now early and catch Brian Vickers in the 83 and Martin hey, Trex Jr. And there's Vickers. Hang and on, there's on, Reagan. What's going on, on here? Roll, let it roll. Now, Martin Truex is the free pass position car, the 56, the Napa car. Vickers trying to get there, gets into Truex, uh, gets into Reagan instead. Oh, right, boy. Right here is where he rips the side out of that thing. All that blue foam, if you remember, Jeff Hammond in the pre-race talked about that energy absorbent foam in the left and right side. That's what you saw flying out of there. A four-car jam session that we've been watching for a lap or two has ended up with Kurt Busch in the wall. In the number two, he was racing with Tony Stewart, Greg Biffle, and younger brother Kyle. That was that was predictable. I mean, these guys were not cutting each other any slack, and they'd been doing it for a number of laps, and it was going to happen sooner or later. This was coming off turn four. Now, Tony had already passed Kurt a couple of times, and he passed him back, and this time he just didn't... Uh, Kurt tried to come up in front of Tony, and he said, we're not having any part of that. Yeah, there was not a lot of give and take right there. Not Tony Stewart comes to pit road, and then Kurt Busch comes in as they're looking at the damage to Stewart's car. Kurt comes up to offer his opinion. Yeah. And guess what they got in the two car? Parked for the day. Meet me at the uh, Oval Office, please. A disastrous pit stop. For Kyle Busch, they lost the left rear wheel. You see all this on the left rear over here. You see that the uh, Jackman let the car down before the, the guy had a chance to tighten the left rear tire up. And yeah, a lot of times those Jackman, they go off the left front. Watch, he has his eyes on the left front. Little bit of an issue getting the left rear on. 
no lug nuts on that left rear, dropped the jack, and never even looked back. Looked like a possible hand injury to the uh, left rear tire carrier. A lot so, of damage to the car riding around this racetrack without a left rear tire. A little bit of bad luck. That's part of how racing goes sometimes. Sometimes you catch the good brakes, sometimes you catch the bad brakes. You know, from there, it looks like you probably just got a little arrow loose. Uh, and something else just happened here, so just uh, part of it. Thanks, Brad. Yep, yellow was out. 41 was suffering, but they were trying to stay out there, guys, until a caution. He was the caution. Left rear, the way the left quarter pound all was blown off the car. It's almost like something oh, happened. Yeah, left rear tire yeah. definitely went. Just shredded that tire and, of course, turned the car right around. 